Here we are going to see how spanning tree works. By applying this spanning tree brief command we can see that R1 has a lower bridge ID and that's why it's selected as a root bridge. Both ports of root bridge R1 are forwarding ports. By applying the spanning tree brief command on R2, you can see that R2 has a lower bridge ID as compared to R3 and that's why R2's fast Ethernet 1 slash 0 is selected as a root port while fast Ethernet 1 slash 1 is selected as a designate port. On R3, fast Ethernet 1 slash 0 is selected as a designate port as it has a lower path cost while fast Ethernet 1 slash 1 is selected as a blocking port to avoid loops. Now here I want R3 as a root bridge. By applying this spanning tree VLAN 1 root primary command on R3 you can see that R3's priority is set to 8192 which is lower than default priority. Applying spanning tree brief command once again on R3, you can see that now R3 is selected as a root bridge.